Hey guys, for all the details on this half up, half down look from Sensational, keep watching. My rules, big moves. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I just appear a whole season like, who said they looking for me? I'm gonna make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today's video we are getting into a half up half down. So this is Sensationelle's Instant Up Down. This is UD19 and I got it in the color number one. Now I purchased this from Sam's Beauty. I want to say it was around $20 or so. So super duper affordable. So this half up half down, it comes with a half wig and then also the little ponytail wraparound piece. Um, now you can wear this four different ways. You can wear it the half up, half down look. You can wear it as a half wig. You could do an updo, or you could just wear it with just the ponytail. So I, let me go ahead and just take out the stock card so you can see what it looks like. So usually the Sensation Nails Instant Half Up, Half Down looks, they're all in long style. So I was really excited when I saw this one because it's of a shorter length. So as you can see, we have that ponytail up top and then the half wig in the back and these are the other styles that you can wear it in. I just got it in a simple number one color um, to match my own hair color, but on the back, it gives you instructions of how to install as well as some of the color combinations that they have in this um, little duo here. So it is heat safe up to 350 degrees to 400. So I am just going to style it in just the half up, half down. I'm not even going to do the half wig the updo or the ponytail or anything. If you would like to try those, you are more than welcome. But today I am just going to do the half up, half down look. So let me go ahead and take this out so you can see what it looks like. And the reason I am not doing the other styles is because I recently just flat ironed my hair. And as you can see, it is fuzzy. Um, my hair is not getting as straight as I am used to. And it's probably just because it's not heat trained. Um, I have not straightened my hair in over two years and it is 100% natural. So yeah, it is what it is. I just don't think it's going to blend with this silky straight half wig. So I am not even going to attempt to just wear just the half wig. So here is the ponytail. So we have one comb right here in the middle, one on the side. We have the little wraparound piece, which is curled and that's really nice. And then here is the ponytail. So nice blunt ends and it is super duper short and I love that. I absolutely love that. So this part here is elastic. Um, so it does stretch out a little bit so you can um, easily wrap it around this little piece right here to hide that. But I love how it's bumped here at the ends and has that blank cut. This is really, really cute. I'm very excited to try this. So that is the ponytail. Let me show you the half wig now. Okay, so this is wrapped up really tight. But as you can see, this one has the blunt ends as well. Also, another reason I am not gonna do just the half wig is because it does not have the elastic drawstring here in the inside. It is only just combs to secure. And so I like my half wigs to have a drawstring. But let me show you the construction. So we have two combs in the front. We have the breathable cap and one comb here in the back. So no like drawstring to secure. So yes, but here it is. Again, I got a color number one and the texture is more like on the silkier texture side. Um, but let me go ahead and just prep my hair. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, part from ear to ear, secure the top, secure the back, slap this baby on and we are going to go about our day. So as you can see, this is my hair. I just cut off like two inches of it um, because it was just, the ends were just raggedy and it probably needs to be cut some more. But um, yeah, here's what we are working with today. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just part from ear to ear and I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut to a voiceover now. So I am not holding you all day. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna part my hair from ear to ear and then I'm going to secure the top portion of my hair with a clip just to clip it out of the way and so I can work on the back section.
Now that I have that front portion clipped out of the way, I am just going to comb the back portion of my hair into a low ponytail. So just brushing it down so it's super flat. And then I'm going to secure it with an elastic band. And with the same elastic band that I'm securing it with in the back, I'm also going to like flip the ponytail up so it's in a little bun and the ends are pointed towards the top of my head. Or you could braid it down, but this is just the quicker option for me. Now I'm going to take some Basque and Lather Edge Control that I purchased from TikTok Shop. I'm just going to put that around the front part of my hair. And this is a black owned company. We love a black owned company. And this edge control is super nice. It dries really firm. So you could use it as kind of like a gel to mold a ponytail. You could use it on your edges. It lasts all day and it smells like strawberries. So I just put this edge control all around the front part of my hair and I'm using a brush to brush up that ponytail. And once I have it to my liking as flat as possible, I am going to just secure it with another elastic band. Now with the ends of this ponytail, I am going to part it into two sections and then just twist it down until I made it to the ends of the hair. And then I am going to twist this little twist around my ponytail and secure it with a small black rubber band. And I'm going to take some of that same edge control, put it right there on my edges and use a small edge brush and brush my edges back. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the half wig. So I'm just inserting those two combs on both sides and then also the back comb in the back of my hair. And as I was feeling around in the back, I noticed there actually is a drawstring on this half wig. So I had to take it off so I could show you because I was just too excited about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and install it just like I did before. So putting those two combs in the front of my hair, the back comb in the back of my hair, and then I'm going to pull on the drawstring and secure it with that little knob. And I'm going to tuck in those ends of the string into the half wig. And when I mean tuck in the strings, I mean just right on the side. I'm also going to take two bobby pins and put them on both sides of the half wig. So right there on the side, just pinning it down so that the sides do not slide up. And just with the half wig on by itself, I am feeling myself. So let's go ahead and put on the ponytail now. So I'm gonna put that middle comb right there in the base of my ponytail, and then take the side that has no comb in it, which I wish you did, pull it around my ponytail, and then take the other side with the little comb in it that also has the wraparound piece, place that comb in the side of my bun, and I'm going to take this side piece, this wraparound piece, and just pull it taut because it does have that elastic piece on it and just wrap that around the base of my ponytail. When I get to the ends, once it's in the back, I'm going to take another bobby pin and secure those ends into the base of the ponytail. Now a little bit of my Sebastian hair shaper and I'm gonna spray that right at the base of that ponytail, that wraparound piece, so it stays put. So 
So the package says it is heat safe. So I did put my flat iron on 375 and I am just using the flat iron to put a slight bump at the end of the ponytail. But that is it. This style maybe took 15 minutes or so, but um, it's giving very much so baddie on a budget. So I'm gonna turn around so I can show you all angles. All right guys, so that is it for the install. Took no time at all and I am absolutely obsessed. I love the length of this little style here. Again, usually the Sensationals half up, half down looks are in a longer length, like super duper long. And if you want them shorter, then you have to cut them. But this one is already in this like cute 12 inch, I wanna say, if I had to guess. But yes, I love this. Love how quick it was to install. Just a little cute half up, half down look and it's Super affordable, I think under $20. So for those baddies on a budget, this is definitely for you. It is cute, it is stylish, and yes, we love a unit or a style with a good price tag that we could do for ourselves. And you get so many styles out of this look. So again, you could do just the half wig by itself. You could do an updo with the half wig. So basically using it as a ponytail, you could do the little ponytail by itself, or you could do the half up, half down. I just love me a half up, half down. So that is why I chose to do this style. But um, yes, it is so cute. Now I will say cons here. So I did find a little drawstring here on the half wig, which is always a positive. So I had to take it off and show you all. But um, now as far as the cap size on this, it is pretty bulky here in the back, but the ponytail kind of disguises that as well as like, it's kind of bumped. So it, you really cannot tell, I don't think. I haven't seen the back, so I really can't say 100%, but I don't think it's that noticeable how bulky it is here in the back. But for those girlies with like a larger head size, then you're covered there for sure. But um, yeah, let me just turn around again so you can see the back. You all can tell me if it's bulky there in the back. But um, yes, here is the side and a bag and again the length is absolutely perfect for summer i just love this i really really hope that they start coming out with more of these half up half down looks in shorter lengths because not all, not all of us want like a bust down we want a shorter length so yeah, this is perfect. I'm gonna put everything down in the description box. Again, I got this from samsbeauty.com with my own money. But um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send a friend, and I will see you all next time.